A meteorologist Jennifer Gray with the latest on Hurricane Matthew. This powerful Category 3 storm of winds, 120 miles per hour, gusts of 150, moving to the northwest at 12. Not much has changed there, still roaring through the southern Bahamas as we go through the afternoon and late evening hours. It's going to continue that northwest track. Um, really, the track has, if anything, shifted a little bit more to the west. Not a whole lot, but this could be a very dangerous situation for Florida. We're talking about a possibility of strengthening into a Category 4 just off the coast, either landfall on the east coast or a very close brush. And how close it gets to the coast is going to mean all the difference when you talk about impacts. As it goes to the north and east after that, making that turn, Category 2 storm possibly off the coast of South Carolina. And then some models taking it out to sea from here. Other models actually winding it back around. And if you can imagine making a second brush with Florida. So we could have potential two impacts from this storm. I want to show you the two models that we look at. Here is the American model. And they actually are agreeing on something, which isn't the best case scenario for Florida. Actually agreeing that this storm could be right off the coast, right there, or right on shore, uh, just south of Cape Canaveral by the time we get into Friday afternoon. And then if you see the European model, very, very close. If anything, just a couple of miles to the east, which actually in this instance, a couple of miles can mean a lot. Hurricane force winds extend about 45 miles from the center. You're going to have your strongest winds right around that eye. And so from there, the winds are going to taper off. Tropical storm force winds, though, are much more far reaching, extend almost 200 miles from the center. This is new. We've added tropical storm watches for the west coast of Florida, the bright yellow. Also still those hurricane warnings in place from Daytona Beach down through Broward County, as well as the hurricane watches for north portions of Florida. Of course, we'll continue to watch it. You can track with us anytime on CNN.com slash hurricane.